All right, a judge is now reviewing Jesse Smollett's request to move the city of Chicago's lawsuit against him to federal court. This comes as new surveillance video obtained by Fox News places the actor and the two men who allegedly attacked him at the scene of the alleged hoax the night of question. Northwestern adjunct law professor Andrew Stoltman with us now. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Thank you. You got any idea why he wants to move this thing to federal court? Yeah, absolutely. There is a stink. There's a taint on this case in the Chicago criminal system. And so many of these judges in state court are former prosecutors. They know about these facts. They know about Kim Fox's reputation. So I think Smollett wants to get this case out of Chicago, specifically to federal court in Chicago, to kind of get a pure judge, a judge who isn't elected, a judge who's been appointed by the president and hopefully take some of the heat off of himself. Interesting. Uh, one, typically, you think that federal, federal prosecutors and especially federal judges are a lot tougher. Uh, it seems as though this would be a civil case, so it's just a federal judge. They, they typically are, have a lot less tolerance for shenanigans than state court judges. Or am I having that wrong because of the, the former prosecutors as judges? Yeah, I think, you know, federal court judges see so many more serious things. Now, this is a serious issue, but it's not exactly the kidnapping of the Lindbergh baby. You know, it's not murder. It's not rape, sexual assault, drugs, a capital murder offense. So I think a federal court judge isn't going to have the same passion mm. on this case that a state court judge who has to get elected might have. So who, who ends up deciding whether or not this can go to federal court? Because if the Chicago police who filed the lawsuit don't want to move it there, it's the state court judge that then would have to kick it upstairs, essentially? That's exactly it. He will make the decision. It's not at all clear what he's going to decide. Smollett is saying, I'm a California resident. This case should be in federal court because I'm a California resident. But everything took place in Chicago. All the witnesses are in Chicago. I think it's probably hmm. eventually going to end up staying here. All right, so that's the civil side of this. The Chicago Police Department saying, look, we want you to pay us back for all the resources we extended uh, and expended uh, on this alleged hoax that certainly appears to be that way at this point. Now you've got the question of whether or not there is going to be a renewal of the criminal charges. Where, where are we on that? Where does this new video put us on that? Yeah, that's the $64,000 question. As you know, a special prosecutor has been appointed on this case, and that's really bad news, both, both for Jesse Smollett and for Kim Fox, because that special prosecutor can recharge him and can make certain that those, uh, that those uh, 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 claims are not dismissed. So that's a potential bad thing for Jesse Smollett and Kim Fox. But, but, but also, you know, it's really bad for Kim Fox because it kind of keeps her name in the news. And the yeah. reason why that's an issue is that she's up for re-election in 2020, and it's kind of reputational death by a thousand cuts. I feel like I'm about to witness the Hindenburg landing on the deck of the Titanic <laughs> with respect to this case, right? And that's bad for you know, Kim Fox. You know Fox. what's amazing, amazing, Andrew? You don't seem at all sad about the fact of uh, Kim Fox's reputation and her death by a thousand cuts. It's only, it, I'm not going to go as far as saying you're gleeful about it, but... Uh, it, it does bring up a, a larger and more important point, perhaps, which is we've got the culture war issue of Jesse Smollett. It's an issue for all sorts of reasons. But you've got a city of Chicago, and Mike Tobin was reporting on about this yesterday, that has got an out-of-control, exploding, if you will, gang, crime, and firearm problem. Big-time murder rate, lots of folks shot every weekend. It's going to be a long, hot summer. The idea of the prosecutor being so embattled cannot be good for the police or for the citizens. No, there is nothing good about it. There were 542 murders last year in Chicago. We just had a near riot down at Navy Pier yeah. two nights ago. And when you have the Cook County prosecutor and the Chicago Police Department at war with one another, that's not good. It's not good for the people of Chicago. And, you know, we have some problems with our reputation because of the crime and because of the violence. Right. And this exacerbates it. It makes it worse. And it's not productive. All right, uh, Andrew, appreciate it as always. Interesting take on this one. It uh, looks like this is going to continue, so uh, we're going to have you back to talk about it. We'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. All right, thanks.